For we who worship by the Spirit of God are the ones who are truly circumcised. We rely on what Christ Jesus has done for us. We put no confidence in human effort. Philippians 3, 3 in the NLT. Key thought. Our identity as God's children is defined by the presence of the Holy Spirit as we worship and continually offer ourselves as living sacrifices, Romans 12, 1, not by our race or by a physical mark on our bodies. Those who have the Spirit are the children of God, John's 3, 3 through 7. We rely on the work of Christ and don't rely on our human attempts at significance. Christ poured the Spirit on us when we were saved by grace, Titus 3, 3 through 7. The Holy Spirit is the mark of our identity, Romans 8, 9. The work of the Spirit makes us part of the body of Christ, 1 Corinthians 12, 12 through 13. The gift of the Holy Spirit is our gateway to authentic worship, Johns 4, 22 through 23. The presence of the Holy Spirit makes us the dwelling place of God a holy temple in which God lives through the Spirit, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. The presence of the Holy Spirit defines our lives in Christ and is crucial to our identity and worship. Rather than our lives and our worship being tied down by all sorts of detailed rules similar to those that the rabbis added to the Torah, we are set free by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Father in heaven, please forgive us when we try to define our significance in any source other than your gracious love for us, your son's sacrifice for our sins, and the work of the Holy Spirit in our day-to-day life. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.